And so Jonathan and Cheryl, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Jonathan and Cheryl, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, instead freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I have. May 1, 2018, simulan ni Lord ang ating love story sa isang Facebook post ng classmate ko na si Ate Ivy na asawa ng best friend mong si Kuya Jerus. Started with a wave-wave, usap-usap sa Facebook, then we became friends. Ngunit nung una nating pagkikita, wala tayong spark at di na tayo nagkita ulit. Tumingi ako ng tulong kay Lord to protect my heart from unnecessary heartbreaks. Nakiusap ako na kung hindi naman na ikaw, huwag na lang. Ang bilis naman akong sinagot ni Lord. Sa gabi ng araw ng magtaing team kong pakiusap, nag-message ka if libre ako kumain sa Makdo. And after more than two years of being together and being friends, we are now sure of each other. And here we are, in front of Him, getting married. Okay, sir. <laughs> ah, it's yun. Okay, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay, it's And today, you have opted to say yes to God and foremost, who has called you to the married life. To a priest that you thought would be the one to solemnize. At the end, you have asked for God, whom I represent unmeritoriously. Love story is simple, private, and most of all, peaceful. Even if the world outside us is crumbling and stressful, nagtaal na sa Batangas, my family members in Tacloban admitted for various reasons, uncertainty in employment right and left, endless hospital duties, and lockdown during this pandemic, gumuguho na ang mundo, but the two of us, we remain peaceful. And I thank God each day for that blessing. Okay, okay. okay na tayo pareho. Indeed, in God's perfect time, ko na meet ang aking God's best. And in front of our God, and in front of everyone who loves us dearly here and online, I vow to protect and maintain that peace that God has been blessing us through the years. I vow to grow alongside you 
to build the family we have been praying for and to raise the children that God hopefully will entrust us. You have loved me and accepted me wholeheartedly, without a shadow of a doubt. You have loved all parts of me, the good and the bad. If it were someone else, they would have run away and never looked back. But you stayed, and you will to stay, and now for lifetimes and beyond. kung saan nanggagaling ang malalim nating pag-iintindi sa magkaiba nating mundo. Siguro nga, mahal natin ang isa't isa. Pero mas naniniwala akong pinagtagpo tayo ng Diyos sa panahong okay na tayo pareho. I know I will love you harder even when it hurts. I promise to be there for you when you need me, but also be there for you when you don't need me. I vow to have the patience that love demands, to speak when words are needed, and to share in silence when they are not. I promise to support any dreams you need to follow, no matter how crazy it is. I believe in you, the person you will grow to be, and the couple will be together. This life will never be easy, but if there is one thing I am sure of, alam kong nanjan ka lang. Sa sabihin mo lang palagi, labi dikit ka lang sa akin. We will be fine, and I am always at peace with you. Thank you, Lavi, for choosing me, for continuously choosing me, and for your assurance that you will always choose me and our future family together. I love you.